Hey guys, so I think I found out why Magnum was having the big D. I think it's from him eating these off my pear tree. I think the squirrel has been throwing these down. I tried to look in my pear tree. This is it right here, which I'm trying to talk my husband into cutting out. This is why I have the trellis here. Yes. And the little one on the other side comes over here. So I have to stand here so my dogs don't break the fence. <laughs> you guys go on. You guys go on. Come on, let's go over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, as I was saying, I'm trying to talk my husband into cutting this down. I was looking in the tree and I don't see many of these, but I think the squirrel's throwing these down. And he's eating these. And I think that's what's causing his stomach to be upset. So now, not only do I have to look for landmines, I have to look, yes, I have to look for these little starts of pears. Yes, caught them with one last night and then this one today. There you go. <laughs> and last year I made the awful mistake when the pears were falling off the tree, I made the awful mistake. Yes, yes. There you go. Of throwing the pears that fall on the ground into my fire pit. And boy, did we get some fruit flies. Oh my goodness. I will never do that again. So yeah, hopefully I can talk my husband into cutting it down. I thought like if he cut it to about right there, I could put maybe a, find a bird bath to sit on top of the on top of the um, uh, stump after we cut it down. Um, I don't know, there's power lines behind it. So we definitely have to have probably somebody help. I don't know, or have somebody come cut it down. I don't think the, ooh, oh look at this little fella. Did you guys see that? Yeah, darn squirrel. Squirrel has been throwing these down. He's going to the power line. There he goes, guys. There he goes. You tell him to get out of your yard. You tell him to get out of your yard. There he goes. See him? Am I even getting him? Yes. There he is, right there. You tell him to get out of this yard. You tell him. You tell him. <laughs> Thought they were going to get one earlier today. There were two squirrels out here. One was sitting in one of my bird tray feeders here. He jumped up here onto the top of the pole. And the other one was over here somewhere. The dog saw that one, chased it to this tree. This one came down the pole and then went over here to go up the tree and I thought, oh my God, the dogs are gonna see him and kill him. Thank God they didn't. Thank God their uh, mind was trained on the one going up this tree. So yeah, I think this is my culprit. And he's been better. Um, the last video I posted, he, was, he got me up twice the next night. And then last night we took him for a good long walk and um, he did not get me up last night, thank goodness. And I slept hard, let me tell you, I slept hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come out a couple times a day and uh, get rid of these if there's any on the ground. Cause he will eat anything, won't you? Oh, and today is, um, uh, it's been a year today since, stop, I'm trying to videotape you, stop following me. <laughs> today 
is has been one year since we brought Magnum home. So we've had Magnum in our lives now for one year. Magnum, Magnum, yes, it's been a year. And um, I'll tell you, <laughs> see, they go to that one spot. Those guys, they go nuts. Get out of there. <laughs> they go nuts. Anyways, as I was saying, um, he's been with us for one year and Magnum has taught me that he barks a lot. No. <laughs> Magnum has taught me to. Oh my goodness. I think they let their dog out when mine's out just because they like to hear my dogs go nuts. I don't know. Um, he has taught me to enjoy every moment of every minute we have in this world. That dog. He just enjoys everything and he he's constantly looking for something to do, entertaining himself. He doesn't, <laughs> look at him, he's so cute. He's just so happy and he's just so busy and <laughs> he, yeah, he just, he teaches me to sit and just enjoy every moment and be happy. So. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> Since these guys will not stop barking. I'm sure you don't want to hear barking the whole video. So you guys have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye.